In this video, I'm going to show you a little known part of Google Search Console and also some general Search Console tips that not a lot of people are talking about online. The first one is when you go on overview right here, you'll see it says understand which content resonates with your readers. So if you click on Search Console Insights, what you can actually do is you can see before you can see in any other place whether a new blog post is doing well or not. Okay. And the way that we see that as it says, your new content right here, fashionable outfits for guys in 2024. You'll see that this is one of the newest pages on the website. If I click on journal, it's right here, released two days ago. And if I actually try and see how it's doing, for example, on Search Console itself, you'll see that the results don't show anything. So this is three impressions, but you can see here that it's actually had 13 views. Okay. Which means that to some extent it's a popular page and yeah, it's just a good way to see if your new content is actually ranking or not. Another good thing that it shows is like what percentage of your traffic is actually from organic search. 38% from organic search is amazing. Um, a lot of people are going to say, oh, we use paid blah, 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 blah. I don't want to hear it. Organic search, 38%. That's the important thing. And then you can see your highest keywords. You can keep an eye on this. Um, I don't really look at this, to be honest with you. The only thing I use the Search Console Insights for is literally just uh, seeing if the new content has any views or not. Um, it does also show links. This is quite useful as well um, because you can actually see if the links are bringing traffic or not. So this is, a, this is actually an important part of this. So blueflashion.com has actually brought eight clicks to the website. So this is actually a decent backlink because it's bringing traffic, whereas a lot of backlinks are just backlinks for backlink sake. Same with Fashion Glee. Somewhere on Fashion Glee, there is a backlink to Kit on Clothing, and it's brought seven clicks to the actual Kit on Clothing page on the website. So this is a really good way to see if a backlink is actually worth it or not. A backlink that doesn't bring any traffic is probably just on a fake website. The won't actually do anything for you. The fact that it's here, you can see that one of the most important things for Google in terms of whether a backlink is good or not is whether or not it brings clicks to your website, because that means that the original website was actually a real website that was getting traffic as well. Now, the next tip on Search Console is to click on pages and uh, unclick the green one here. Now, if you see a sharp increase in gray and you're writing a lot of AI SEO content using ChatGPT, then you may have a problem. Now, I'm not too worried about this just because I know the, the pages I want to get indexed on this website are getting indexed, but there's a good way to test that. So a lot of these you can completely ignore. And I want to make this absolutely clear because people do not understand this. I can ignore this one. Okay. This... I'm just gonna, I'm going to ignore it anyway, although I shouldn't, uh, it's probably just products. Yeah. So what happens is, <laughs> and again, this isn't a massive problem at the end of the day, uh, when Shopify sells out of a product, it 404s that product page, just, it's fine. It's not going to destroy your website. It's a little bit bad in inverted commas for SEO, but it's not the end of the world blocked by robots.txt. Again, that will just be a lot of unimportant pages. Duplicate without user selected conical, not a big issue. Page with redirect, not a big issue. None of these are a big issue except crawled, currently not indexed is a big one. And then discovered, currently not indexed is a big one. If you're seeing a huge spike, like here, I saw a big spike in not indexed pages. The first thing you want to check is, are they important pages? So you can do that by sorting by um, URL and seeing if there's a list of blogs or products or whatever it might be that are not getting indexed. Another one is to look by last crawled and have a look right here. Now you can see that a lot of these are just, you know, unimportant translated pages. So I'm not too bothered about uh, them. The last one is discovered, uh, currently not indexed. I've only got 1.715. I'm really, again, this is just not something that I'm even checking or bothered about because all of the important pages that I write get indexed fairly quickly. Another very, very important point is to always be checking page experience. Now I'm on Shopify, but I still need to check this because when Shopify hasn't updated for a while, what often happens, and this has just happened, is that suddenly 
the pages are no longer considered good, but they are actually considered needs improvement. This is really, really frustrating. It's something that you have to learn to deal with. Um, but yeah, this will ha I'll have to wait for a Shopify update if there isn't one already. Yeah, so you can see here there's, there hasn't been an update just yet. So once Dawn updates to 13.00, then I'll be able to update Shopify and this should fix the problem. This is a constant battle between Shopify and Google. It's a little bit pathetic, to be honest with you. But you do have to keep your eye on page experience and on web vitals. The next tip is to use ChatGPT for regex. Okay, so what you can actually do is you can say, can you give me a regex search for search console to filter for any href language tag pages such as slash ar for Arabic or slash fr for French, etc. This is something that I couldn't do until last night when I tried this live on stream. I was never able to get regex to actually work. So if you go on search results and you go on page and then custom regex, what you can do is you can ask it to do certain things that would be impossible normally unless you're using regex, okay? So just ask ChatGPT for exactly what you want and that you want it in regex. And then what we can actually do, when I press apply here, what this is gonna show us is the growth of just the translation pages of this website, okay? Which, by the way, the growth of the translation pages for this website is just absolutely insane. 21,000 impressions just from translation. All I did was install eTranslate and set it up. Um, it took me like two hours to set up. 20 languages and yeah the results are just, they, they just speak for themselves honestly so you can see one of them the best probably is ru and then es spanish german but even like the newer pages there are some new pages coming now that should be coming shining through so i the originally what i did was russian german and spanish okay that's why you can see those at the top but then korean came in and then i just completely exploded with 20 different languages, Swedish, Arabic, etc., etc. So I'm planning on getting to 1,000 clicks per month very, very quickly on this website now. And a lot of that is just keeping an eye on Search Console and making sure things are running smoothly. So another thing that you need to be constantly checking is how many index pages you have. Um, if you have under 300 index pages, you can't really expect Google to give you much traffic, okay? You need thousands of index pages to be considered to like a big website for Google. Now, some people say it's better to have less pages. Some people say it's better to have more. I go for the more category for sure. Um, but some people say it's better to have less. Another easy tip or quick tip is to be checking Discover as well. You can see there's some traction here. Um, and these are all these blog posts that I've been writing recently. I'm super, super excited to see if we can get any massive Discover uh, runs off. There's no secret to this. If you're using Shopify, it should already be set up to be able to be picked up by Discover, and there shouldn't be any problems there. That's going to be it, guys. These were just some tips for Search Console in 2024. I'm super looking forward to 2024. I'm super motivated, and I cannot wait to start releasing more content, streaming more, and we've got a lot more projects coming too. Thanks for watching. I'll see you very, very soon with some more content and peace out.